let's talk about what you need to get started with digital planning. I'll show you what I personally use as well as some tips and tricks for getting started. The first thing you need is a note-taking app. I personally use GoodNotes because it's the most intuitive I've found, but there are other options like Notability, NoteShelf, etc. Most of them have a free version, so definitely try them out before buying. Ideally, you'll already have an iPad or tablet that you can use for digital planning. You could also use a computer for digital planning, but the advantage of a tablet is that you can use a stylus. I have an Apple Pencil and I also have a paper-like cover on top of my iPad so it does feel like you're writing on paper in a real planner. The next thing you need to do is buy a planner and then import it into the app you chose. If you purchase the planner from my shop, you received a link to Google Drive with all of your files. You get to choose the color theme as well as the version of the weekly planner. To import, I opened the Google Drive app, I found a file and then clicked on the three dots next to it. When it prepares the file to export, you will see a menu and you can select Open in GoodNotes. Select Import as new document and your planner will be ready for use. Most digital planners come with a lot of extra stickers. Here's how to import all of them at once. For this, I recommend using the GoodNotes Elements tool. You should create a new collection and then open the split screen. For this, you need the Files app, so open it and then find the folder with all of the stickers. Then go ahead and select all. Now all you need to do is drag and drop into the new collection window. This way, you don't have to import stickers one by one, which would take a really long time. If you're not a huge fan of your handwriting, you may want to use a font and the scribble feature on your iPad. In my planner, I use a handwriting font I created. I will link it in the description. For importing fonts, I use the iFont app. You can download it for free in the App Store. To install a font, open the app and follow the instructions. The app will guide you through each step. Just make sure to download the font from Google Drive onto your iPad first. Here I'm installing the Alice font since I already have my handwriting font installed. When you finish this process, you can open your note-taking app and the font will be there. Now that you have everything installed, you're ready to start planning. The first thing I do when setting up is pick a cover. Then you can start setting up custom sections and start planning the current month. To click on links in the planner, make sure you are in viewing mode. Now you can freely move around all of the pages. This planner is fully hyperlinked, which means that every day has its own page. In addition to the general planning pages, you can also use your digital planner to plan your finances, wellness, nutrition, and more. I fill out all of these pages before the month begins. These are some of my recent weekly pages. I like to keep it minimal, but still have a little fun. If you're just getting started, I recommend going to my freebie library because I have a lot of digital stickers and templates that you can download for free. It's a great way to break the ice. I also recommend you watch this video because it will show you all of my favorite hidden features in GoodNotes. See you next time!